हेलो गाइस हाउ आर यू सो टुडे वी आर सॉल्विंग लार्जेस्ट नंबर सो बेसिकली लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट सो गिवन अ लिस्ट ऑफ नॉन नेगेटिव इंटीजर्स सो वी आर गिवन वन अरे ऑफ द नॉन नेगेटिव इंटीजर्स एंड अरेंज देम सच दैट दे फॉर्म द लार्जेस्ट नंबर एंड रिटर्न इट सो वॉट वी हैव टू डू इज वी हैव टू रिटर्न वी आर गिवन दिस नम्स इंटीजर अरे and we have to place these numbers in such a way so that they match the largest number for example this is 10 and 2 so if we we can make the largest number right 210 is the largest number similarly for this guy as as well and these numbers could be uh, very large as well okay so we have to basically return the answer in the form of a string you can see this output is in the form of a string so uh, this is what we have to do Uh, we will understand everything so that we will go to the right approach so uh, let's go what would be my approach here so as suppose let's take a very simple example suppose this is a uh, this is our array right so what would be the answer of it the answer would be uh, the largest value which can form using these uh, integers would be 9753 right this would be our largest value so one simple approach looks like if we sort this in descending order right and remember uh, that we are uh, making it the the answer should be in form of a string okay so even uh, we can go we can change these integers to the string array but let's understand first so if we sort this what would be in descending order we can find this would be somewhere like 9 7 5 and 3 right so in this case now we can just append all of them and this will give us this question this answer sorry so uh, Three nine seven five. Just we we sorted them in descending order, but everything here is single digit, right? So what if there is a two two digit number? Then uh, how would we handle this? Now suppose we have this so uh, integer array. Okay, so this integer array. First of all, I am converting them to the string because anyway at the end we have to return a string only. So suppose this is a string array of these. Uh, or a string representation of all those numbers okay so now what what will happen if we again sort this number uh, this array just like we did in the descending order how it would be looks like it would be looks like most uh, we are basically uh, sorting it on the uh, first uh, character first of all on first character uh, would come to the picture so 9 would would be the greatest right right then 5 would be the second greatest so 5 would be coming then look at the th uh, third part it is 3 3 and 3 all of them right so which would be the greatest because this is the 3 only everywhere but next next this next digit is 4 right so in this case 3 4 would be the uh, next uh, uh, number which will come in the sorted way you can see that these are the string but we are saying it is as a number okay now next thing is 3 and 30 now obviously 30 should be greater if we compare these two string 3 and 30 30 would come first so this will come 30 and uh, finally it would be 3 now if we append all of them what would be the answer here so answer would be 9 5 3 4 3 0 3 3 4 so if we are uh, Uh, if we are sorting this uh, in the terms of uh, ascending way this is giving us the this answer but actually this answer is not the largest value because you can obviously see we can form the 9 5 3 4 and uh, 3 3 0 right so this would be the largest value so our this assumption our plain assumption is not working here that we would be sorting it in ascending order and things would be done right so then the problem arises when we have this kind of scenario 3 and 3 0 right because if we do plain ascending sorting then 3 0 would come first so we don't know that how to put them so we have to modify our uh, uh, sorting way a bit here so guys as we know that every programming language has the when we sort something we have the comparators right we we can modify the comparators according to our convenience so to handle this kind of scenarios in in our comparator what we can do is basically we can handle these situations so see here when this this condition arises what we can do is we can do one thing 
that 3 and 3 0 right so by uh, we can make let's say we are calling it a and b right so we should be make a comparison between the a plus b and b plus a right we can make a comparison of a plus b and b plus a whoever is so greater who is making the greatest combination that combination should be followed in our sorting algorithm okay so see here if we, if we make this so plus means these are the string right so plus this is not 3 plus 30 equal to 33 this is the string concatenation so what would be the a plus b a plus b would be making here 330 right and here b plus a what it would be it would be 303 now look at their comparison 330 should be greatest right if we compare both these two this would be the greater so we have to we have to go for the one which is making a greater combination this thing we have to basically uh, make in our uh, uh, our comparator whatever programming language we are using now this is a greedy approach right this is just a greed now how can i say that this would be always work there should be a proof of concept right greed approach is not uh, just uh, for the favorite stuff we have to give a concept then only greedy approach would be work so we have to give a mathematical uh, proof of this. So I will go for that. Now guys, suppose we have a function like this, fx equal to 10 to the power log x plus one. Okay. So uh, now you might have a question that how can I blindly mention certain function? What does it actually mean? How can I write it unnecessarily, randomly? What is the uh, reason behind it writing this function? So, okay, I will give this. Suppose we have a number called 31, okay? So if I give this guy 1 as x, what would, what would be the value? So here f1 equal to what it will give? It will give me a 10 to the power uh, 0 plus 1, right? Because log of 1 would be 0. So this would give basically 10 to the power 1. So it is finally giving me answer 10. What does it mean? So if I give 1, it is giving me 10. So it meaning is like... Uh, if I am using this one, then if, if it is coming with some other character, it has to have a power of 10 to the power 1, right? That place, uh, the placeholder for x, okay? So for 1, we need that uh, 10 to the power 1. So uh, it would be giving us 10, right? Now, now I can clearly say here that to represent this 31, what I can write? I can write one thing I can write here 3 into f1 right because f1 uh, we called 3 into f1 plus 1 right I can write you can see here f1 is giving me 10 so 3 into 10 plus 1 which is basically equal to 31 only right so what does it mean if I replace this a uh, 31 as a and b so now it is clear that I can write it a into fv plus b right we took 31 example so f1 was giving us 10 so 3 into 10 plus 1 right so we can in general write any number like this now let's take one more example let's say uh, we are taking this time so let's say this time i'm taking 10 1 0 right so i'm considering this as b and 8 as a right so uh, what would be the value of this uh, fb this time it would be basically 10 to the power or uh, uh, log of 10 plus 1 okay so what would be the final value it would be uh, log 10 log 10 would be giving me 1 so 1 plus 1 so it would be uh, 10 to the power 2 which is basically equal to 100 right so uh, this would be 100 now what can i do is i can write it in this format right in this format i can write so 8 into 100 plus 10 right 8 into 100 which I got as FV answer plus 10 what it giving me it is giving me 810 only the original value only right so this is what I mean to say this function 810 so this function I have considered so by now we should be clear that what this function all about now we have to proof this i said that uh, in our sorting algorithm we will take the comparison of a plus b and b plus a right so now we have to give the mathematical proof of it because we just cannot say that this would always work 
right so you know when we do the proof of concept in mathematics we you know the transient relation that if a less than b right and if b less than c then it indicates that a also should be less than c right this was the transient relation so a also should be less than c then only we can say that this would be a truth right when these three conditions are matching if these two are matching that means this third one also should matching so with this concept we have to prove our this thing that uh, our greed approach would be work fine okay so we will use this function to prove this concept so guys now i can write this a plus b as f b into a plus b right we just explained right f b into a plus b this would be my exact value of a plus b right so now if this guy if a plus b is less than of b plus a then what it would be it would be f a it would be f a into b plus a right f a into b plus a so now if these are less than uh, this would be the initial uh, assumptions that if a plus b is less than b plus a then what we can do here is we can take the common stuffs together right so let's say i am getting this so uh, this a part into the left side and this b part into right side so it would be like uh, f b into a minus a less than f a into b minus b okay so minus b now so if we take common we can write it like this a f v minus 1 right f v minus 1 would be equal to we can take the common uh, would less than we can take common b here b of f a minus 1 right you will guys uh, you guys will come to the college school days uh, yeah so this would be so far so I'm removing all these things now. Finally, we would have a relation for A, right? So guys, now I can write that A would be less than B into F A minus 1 upon F B minus 1, right? So I can say this, this one relation we have established from here, right? So this would be go in the upon side, F B minus 1, okay? So this relation we have found so far for A and B. Similarly, we can also have another pair like this. So let's say we have B plus C and C plus B. Okay. So guys, remember this plus means concatenation of a string. It is not the sum of the integers. Okay. This is just a concatenation of the string. So B plus C and C plus B. Now similarly, we can find a relation between the B and C as well right the way which we found for this so how it would be it would be like b would be less than c of f b minus a just like this right you can easily find it f b minus 1 divided by f b here it would be like uh, f c minus 1 right so this would be our f c minus 1 so we found another relation now I, you guys can observe one thing here see here this b is less than this whole right so if i put instead of this b if i put this thing entirely the relation would be still fine this relation because anyway this whole is less greater than b so this relation would be still as it is so i can replace this whole value instead of b okay so what would be my final thing so basically we have to multiply this whole part with this right so you can observe clearly this f b minus 1 this guy would be cancelled with with this f b minus 1 right so this is what we get here right so again what we can do is we can further write it a into f c okay a into f c plus c if we take this c minus c to the right side it would give us plus c right 
this would be less than uh, so we can take this part into the right side we see into f a plus a right so now you guys clearly you can see it this is like uh, a plus c right this is now a plus c would be less than c uh, plus a now this has been proven here that if a came before b and b came before c then c here a is also coming before c here so now this is trivially it is explained here okay so this a plus c plus is you can consider this is the concatenation of the string otherwise in mathematical way i could call it a c and c a okay so uh, finally we have proved that this is uh, uh, basically the proof of concept of our greedy approach now we will write quickly the code of it which is very simple you can take any one of the uh, sorting algorithm to do that so let me show you my code so first of all i am creating one uh, converting this uh, nums to the string array so let me take it a string oh sorry string suppose i am calling it str equal to new string of same size what nums has nums dot length and then so see here i just uh, converted the integer to a string and i am putting in this way now we are important part is we are sorting it arrays dot sort or whatever programming language you are using we have to basically look for the constructor so uh, str we have to sort now this is important so a comma b so basically what we want we have to check a plus b and uh, uh, b plus a right we need the greater value so what we will do but because we need the greater value so what we will do b plus a we will write at the first location dot compare to and a plus b okay uh, so i am writing b plus a first because we are looking for the greater value first okay so now this would be our comparison now if see here if after doing the sorting if very first uh, element itself is zero that means everything would be zero there so we have to return zero immediately otherwise we have to now uh, append the thing so i will make one string builder so that our things would be faster so string builder s b equal to thus created by string builder now i would be append all the values so i'm appending all the values as uh, s b dot append s i'm returning it as a string s b dot return s b dot to string so let me execute my code so i'm executing it okay there is some compilation error okay this has to be equals right because this is a string so let me complete it equals equals and this has to come in the double quotes zero now let me execute this time yeah let me try to submit it yeah, so it is 98.24 percent faster so thank you for watching this video if you guys have any concern, please make a comment over there. Thank you.